What's happening? What are you wearing? Hmm? Sophia is always wearing shoes, ballet dress, accessories. Are you a princess? Hmm? No, 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 no. Don't remove your top. Hi guys, good morning. So I just woke up with this uncontrollable urge to purge my things to basically declutter this is more than just decluttering this is more like i am getting rid of a lot mm -hmm. of things including the things that i am wearing okay yeah i just felt like decluttering i was like see eh, out with the old it doesn't matter whether i'm wearing it whether i don't have extra whatever i am getting rid of a lot and i know it's a huge deal considering the economy that we are in right now Okay, I know that it's not easy, but I just have to get rid of almost everything I have. I told myself, I don't have money to even replace them. It's not like I'm getting rid of my clothes so that I will quickly replace them, no. I just told myself, uh, if I don't get clothes, you see that my match t-shirts, I'll just be wearing it. Okay, after all, I wear them a lot too, actually. So, I'll be wearing my match t-shirt until I'm able to afford to, you know, replace my clothes that I've given out. But yeah, I have to declutter a lot, a lot, a lot. So, those are clothes on the floor. So, yeah, these are my clothes. All these are my clothes, well not all, there are a few items here that are for my kids But these are my clothes, this is the Ghana must go, I'm going to use and pack them This is where I'll pack any extras These ones are the ones that I'm keeping for someone special But yeah, so I just had to keep only the t-shirts that I like Like I really really like and I don't want to get rid of, so I kept them here a lot of them are my match t-shirts, my match, the loose match, um, and then it just a few t-shirts here and there, and then these are all the jeans that I'm keeping, these ones, and these ones, okay, and this one, I'm about to fold this and put in here, so I bought this thing from, Alia, eh, from Amazon, and I love it for keep putting jeans, so these are, how many slots, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> actually put two here, six seven eight nine ten okay so i i told myself that i'm allowed to have only 12 trousers and these include leggings jeans shorts bobo tigbo okay aside these ones are two pieces so here is going to contain my leggings jeans so this slot now i'm going to just put two here because yeah that's the edge so two here two here or this one is actually a baggy jeans that's why i want it's only one here but two here two here but that's all i'm allowed to have so right now i'm looking forward to get rid of so that i can put my leggings and these jeans in here um another reason why i just feel the urge to declutter is that i have gained a lot of weight story for another day but yeah if you know how i look on a normal day you would you can tell that i have gained a lot of weight a lot of things are just not you know the way they are they are supposed to be with me and i've i've known this for a while but i've just been see eh, if you want to know whether i am truly <laughs> settled or not just look at my face and look at my body like if you see me gaining weight if you see me you know having extra fat here and there or you know being tired more often just know that i'm not settled okay i'm not saying i'm not happy or i'm not saying that i'm sad or depressed or anything no but i'm not settled okay so one of the ways i'm trying to settle myself because i noticed that this my weight gain started from when i started re renovating this house yes i carry stress on my body i've i've prayed about it i'm still praying about it i'm still working on it but i carry stress on my body so whenever i'm stressed i start gaining weight so i started gaining this weight from when i started renovating this house and now we have we're done like we're not doing anything extra again we're done but still i've found it hard to actually go back to my normal routine and you know just go back to getting myself back so i feel like one of the ways that i'm trying to help myself is by getting rid of excess stuff not even excess just getting rid, getting rid of stuff okay anything i cannot wear no point waiting for when i'll lose weight or when you know whatever like anything i cannot wear right now like as i am right now it has to go okay but yeah, um, let me just continue decluttering. Um, this one just needs to be folded and put in the box, in the bags. I've gotten a few requests from people asking me if I could give them, you know, my kids' clothes or my, you know, or, people, or clothes that I want to give up my own clothes as well. But the truth is that I actually do have a lot of people on standby that I give things to, okay? So, um, yeah, I wish I could just give to subscribers and all of that, but... 
I feel like, why do I want to reach out to subscribers to give when I have people around me that have not gotten? You know, that's why I really don't keep for subscribers or anything like that. And I feel like if I want to even get subscribers, it should be like proper, proper giveaway, not getting rid of leftovers and stuff, okay? I don't know. Some people will say, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But to me, it matters. Like, I have people around me that actually need these things. I cannot just overlook them. And now go outside and be doing, <laughs> I be doing Sarah, okay? When people in my domot have not yet gotten so, yeah, a lot of these things I have people around here that have keys that I give it to. Then I also have people in the village that I give things to, you know, through my mom. Um, yeah, I'm not one of those people that are scared of giving people things so in the village. I, I don't care, like take it. I see people that are scared of, oh, I don't give people my clothes, so they don't have to do for me. I don't give people my this. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, throw my pad inside the dustbin. I don't throw my baby's diaper inside the dustbin. <laughs> because of uh, the, uh, ritualists. But is that how you want to live your life? And you call, yourself a child of, you call yourself a child of God and you are scared of somebody taking your waste products and using it to do juju for you. Like, how low can you go? Some of you are practicing, I don't know, I'm debating right now, but I want to just preach. Some of you are actually practicing witchcraft through christianity okay some of you are actually practicing some of you are christian you know traditional worshipers let me put it that way because the things you guys consume yourselves with the things you are bothered about the things you pray about in quotes the things you bind and cast in quotes are all glorifying the devil <laughs> that's how we're putting many of you glorify the devil like you, you say you say with your mouth that you actually love God, you're a child of God, you know, you believe in the power of God. That's what you say with your mouth, but deep down in your heart, you don't believe in the power of God. Deep down in your heart, you believe that the devil is stronger than God. That is why you are thinking, I can't imagine my waste products. I will not be thinking, ah, somebody can't do juju. Carry it and do juju now. Carry it and do juju. Not today. Carry it and do juju. You are welcome in advance, okay? You are welcome. Okay, but nothing can happen to me, nothing can come to me because you, you carried, uh -uh. I remember one time, I've had debates now, but my hand is pinning me. I remember one time that, you know, I was having an altercation with somebody. It wasn't even my fault in any way, like, long story. In fact, anytime I just people that story, they're like, eh, people are evil in this world. Yeah, so, long story, a family member, in quote, was telling me that I'll have accident and I'll die. Okay, yeah. A family member in quotes was telling me that I'm going to have accident and I'm going to die. Like as per when I'm living where they are, where they are, like as, as I'm living right now, that I'm, I'm going to have accident on the road and I'm going to die before I get to my destination. Everybody was now shouting, "Hey, God forbid! Don't say that! Don't say that!" I said, "Your monkey people should keep quiet." <laughs> I was like, "I beg you." So this mere mortal, this low life mere mortal, who will cost me that I will have accident on the road as I'm living and die. And me, a child of God, with everything that I carry, I will not be scared. I will not be shouting, God forbid, out of fear, not out of faith, out of fear. God forbid, uh, I will not die. I said, come on, come on, get out. You have not finished using your mouth to proclaim goodness on your life. You have not finished using your mouth to make yourself a better human being. It's me that you think you have power over. You don't have power over yourself, it's me you have power over. Come on, get out. <laughs> that was how I entered car and drove. Long distance, so and I might not still alive to you today. This happened years ago. This happened like over ten years ago. Yeah. Okay. I might not still alive to you today. Come on, guys, sit down. Anyway, but some people once they turn back, say, God forbid. Oh Jesus. Ooh. Maybe that day they might even go home safely, but they will carry it in their head forever and ever until the day they will not have accidents. They will carry it in their head, in their heart. Anyway, all this to say that I don't care who I give my things to. Um. I care about my intentions. I want to bless people. I want to help people. And that's it. Okay. Anyway, anywho, um, I've talked too much for no reason. I beg, I beg, I beg. I'll talk to you guys later. Let me just finish sorting out everything I need to sort out. Okay. So, before I used to put um, bed sheets and towels inside this, but I now ordered from Nigeria the ones that don't have all this separation. So, let me just use this one for my jeans, which are my original, you know, plan. Use them for my jeans, then I'll buy the one for my towels, bed sheets, and pillow covers. Yeah.
What do you want? Yes. What do you want? What do you want now? Say it now. She says she wants to go to school. Who wants to drink their juice with our special straw? Straw? Me. Who is starting? Me. If I start it first. Hey, where's that rag? And it feels cold once it's going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bring another juice for Sophia. Okay. I feel like it's going. Let me see you bring your juice. <laughs> mm. So I bought this thing from AliExpress. I actually like it too. It looks very fun. The best thing is that you get to wear glasses and drink it at the same time. Yeah. yeah baby, come on, let me wear it for you. Come, let me wear it for you. Oh. It's so cool, right? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. It's hallelujah. Yeah, it's not your grandma. You put our sisters. What time? You should stay with grandma. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she will just go to it. I think. Mm -hmm. This year, normally they when I give them this juice, they will do mouth any hard. They will do it here. Now they are drinking it because of crazy straw. Hmm? My battery is done. Man, I are drinking it because of crazy straw. Oh, Omo, I love the bath that I just took now. Eh, it felt next level. <laughs> Well, I feel like because I finished, I just finished decluttering, it feels like a weight was lifted off my shoulder. Okay, let me go to my face now. But I need to wash my hand. I just need rubbing cream. I don't mind. I'm going to rub the head. Anytime I'm doing skincare, I'm always sweating. And I heard that it's not good though. Yes. If something makes your face get heated, it makes it acne prone. Yes. Something took me. Something took you. You're yeah, on the stairs. On the stairs. Oh oh. Hold on, let me see. Where? On your leg? On your hand? <gasps> Where? <Yay. laughs> Do you feel better now? Come. Yes. I'm so scared. You're still scared. Yes. What took you? My hand. I remember there was a picture I took like this where I was carrying you when you were still newborn. I used to just listen, crying, and food. I read. Mm, there was a thumbnail like this when you were still a newborn. I was carrying you like this. And you were so tiny! I was like, see my baby? You used to be so tiny. Now you're the cutest baby ever! <laughs> I think I should eat you. And if they eat me, <laughs> 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 the dog me and I put my leg by his shoe. See what this child is wearing. Just, just look at what this child is wearing. She's wearing Crocs, she's wearing leggings, she's wearing tutu skirts and t-shirts. Hmm? T -shirt. And somehow everything works. All the colors just go. Hmm? Um, I'm not done my sunscreen, even though sun don't, dress, don't, don't touch me tired and my jewels. Your dress? Uh, tell us what you are wearing. I'm dressed and yellow, tutu. yellow skirt. Tutu skirt. All right. Bye. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to go. You don't want to go. Oh yeah, sit down beside me. Ah, mm -hmm, big girl. Okay, so. Sometimes I blend my, my, my sunscreen very well. But once I sweat, it's almost like as I'm sweating, the sunscreen will start, you know, turning white again and yeah, always yeah, looking good. You, <laughs> You're such a cutie, eh? God. Okay. 
Have you met a cuter child? I don't think so. Okay, I don't think so. I don't think so. Look at this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, you guys, I started the gist earlier on, but I didn't give you guys full context of that gist. So let me just try and add some little more information, but you know, yeah. Anyway, so this thing I'm saying happened over 10 years ago. I've been married for 12 years, so it's way over 10 years ago. And there was this person that I was close to, and the person had a relative, right? A family member of theirs, and I was close to this person. So, this person and their family member were quarreling, having an issue. This quarrel had nothing to do with me. Eh? Like, when I say nothing, I mean absolutely nothing to do with me. I was just a bystander. <laughs> in the quarrel that was going on so yeah this quarrel had nothing to do with me i was just a bystander i was witnessing i was witnessing what was happening and i just felt like you know what let me just step in and try and you know diffuse the situation you know de-escalate you know talk to both sides just try and you know be a nice middleman right that was how i collected three bullet though that was how you know the person that had an issue with the person i was close to Turned on me, oh, and started insulting my generation, you know, insulting other things about me, you know, saying things about me that I was like, wow, so you really have all these things in your, in your mind about me, but, you know, you've been keeping it to yourself, waiting for the day you're going to explode on me. That's why even when an issue that does not concern me at all, oh, it no concern me, I was not there, I don't know what happened, I was even trying to even make things better. I was even trying to even advise the person they were quarreling with, you know, just calm down, you know, you know, I'm always like, I'm always trying to be, how I put it, I always pursue peace basically so I'm trying to be like you know what well, calm down don't take it to heart you know how you know that you know things like this happen you have to be the bigger person even if you know this person doesn't want to be the big, bigger person you don't have to meet fire for fire you can rise above it okay my dear sisters and brothers that was how I now collected three bullets they now started insulting me insulting me I mean, I'm going to even talk back but I was just like you know what the way the situation was it wasn't really about me. So what, what am I talking back at? I was just like, oh, really? This is what you think about me, Abby? Then it's good. It's fine. All well and good. It's kosher, right? Like, anything you think about me, that's it, right? Like, it was when person tried to insult my own relatives. I was just like, that's why I draw the line. But if you want to insult me, whatever you think about me, whatever you want to say about me, that's fantastic, okay? So, um, the person said, you know, talking a lot of things. And I said, you know what? I was here trying to do middleman, trying to be a nice person, trying to separate fights. But obviously, I'm receiving straight bullets that I did not even bargain for. When I woke up this morning, this was not in my agenda. So let me just take my exit. So me now, talking to the person that I was close to, I just told the person that you are free to follow me or I'm free to leave alone. But you see this place, I'm not going to stay here and listen to all this crap, okay? So the person I was close to was trying to say, no, they will not go, they will not go, they're going to stay there, they're going to, they're going to fight fire for fire. And I was like, okay, well, you won't stay here fight. Now you suck out me. To the left, to the left, I'm taking my exit. That was how the person now agreed to follow me because it, it would have been weird if I had left there alone, knowing that I received straight bullets for you in, in something that I'm not even involved in anyway. So the person now, you know, left with me. As we were now about to leave, that was how this relative of that person and I started insulting both of us and I started saying that as we are going, we are going to have accident and die on the road. You know, started saying very, very nasty things about us, like trying to curse us, basically. Trying to just lay curses on us. So the other people around, the other bystanders, other relatives, other, you know, people involved in the whole thing. That's the main people that were even involved, the women are not even they involved. They were now trying to, you know, shout, God forbid, it will not happen. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. It will not happen. Oh, blood of Jesus. <laughs> Me, I was like, please save yourselves the stress, okay? This, like, sometimes I feel like when we over rebuke things or when we over pray against things or when we over confess or, or there's a way you react to things eh, that you're actually reacting in fear not faith as in it's obvious that you're in fear because you feel like that person has power so you're in fear like hey this thing will happen so you're trying to just rebuke the thing or change no 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 i can't i can't fear you who you be 
who is your father in the army? Like, who do you think you are? All your generation joined together, all the strong men of your generation joined together, they don't reach me. <laughs> you know? So, I was telling them point and play, you people should stop rejecting, you people should stop rebuking. This thing that this person said can never happen. Like, you don't have authority over my life. It is what I say that goes on in my own life. You cannot just stay there and be professing nonsense and think that I'll be scared. It's once I'm scared, it means that I believe it can happen. That's why I'm scared and I'm rebuking it. No, I don't. It did not even cross my mind that it's going to happen to me, okay? So anyway, they, were, they didn't understand what I was saying. They were still like, ah, in their mind, they're like, hey, this one doesn't want, doesn't like a life. <laughs> this one not like a life. They were still saying it, go for big, go for big. Anyway, even when I was now on my way going, I kept receiving calls. As in both of us, we kept receiving calls. You know, where are people now? Because we were traveling back, you know, somewhere. Where are people now? Have people gotten to so-and-so place? How, I hope, but, hope you guys are okay. And I was like, we are fine, eh? Just, we, don't worry, your, don't worry yourself, eh? She be, you're not even traveling. So why are you worried? Me that I'm traveling, I'm not worried. Like, relax. Anyway, that was how we now got to our destination. They called. When we said we've already gotten to our destination, they were like, ah, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, oh, thank you, God. Man, I was like, oh, you fitless generation. <laughs> Oh, ye faithless people, like, why are you giving the, the, the devil more power than he deserves or than he actually has? Like, people need to understand that. That's why I'm not scared of, you know, giving people things or, or giving people money or, you know, saying some certain things to certain people. Yes, I was reading a scripture yesterday. I started reading my Bible again from Matthew, not from Genesis this time, because I noticed that most times when I try to start from Genesis, I know they finish them. <laughs> I always, when I start hearing genealogy too much, I just get tired and I, and I, I go somewhere else, so I just forget about the whole thing. So I started, I started reading the game from Matthew. There was something that I read in Matthew, right? Now, people always cite the example of how Herod wouldn't have known about Jesus if the three wise men had kept their mouth shut, right? People always say that and they cite that as examples why we should not say certain things, we should not tell people certain things. For those of us, for those of us that are on YouTube, why we shouldn't expose certain things now while that is correct to an, to an extent for instance like i need to actually be safety conscious so there are certain things i will not say about myself there are certain things i will not reveal about myself like i'm never going to tell you guys how much i make on youtube how much uh, my husband makes where my husband works where my kids go to school you know um there's some kind of dynamics about my life I'll never tell you guys. And it's not because those things are so fantastic. It's just because nobody needs to know, right? That was one. Then another thing I can never reveal about myself is certain details of my life, of my family life that is very, very heavy, right? Some things are very heavy. And I'm not talking about all this abuse and stuff. Like, no, I go talk calm. I go talk calm. All those things that can help other people, I go talk about them, right? But certain things are very heavy, especially when it's not my story to tell. I'm not going to say. So I have so many juicy. People are always saying that, oh, they like my story time, like my story times. I have so many juicy stories, but they're not my stories to tell. I'm just like, ah, can I just tell this story with permission? Like, just give me permission. Then there's some other things I don't say because I don't want my parents to feel bad. <laughs> not that, not feel bad, but I don't need to feel like, ah, why is she saying that? So I was telling someone that. I'm not really, you know how women say, oh, they don't reveal some things on YouTube because of their husbands, or they don't do some things on YouTube because of their husbands. In my own case, it's opposite. It's because of my parents. My husband is always like, anything you want to do, do it. In fact, if I'm just, I'll be giving my husband, he'll be like, ah, that would be a good video idea. And I'll be like, eh? And my mother will watch it. Hey, it's not going to be me. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, the case, my case is always different when it comes to that, but because I respect my parents, there are some things I will not reveal. And there are some things that my parents don't like me revealing that I will still reveal because I know that it's important to help other people. But other things are not really helpful. It's just information that, it's just uncalling, it's just gist. It's just, yeah, I won't say those ones, you know. Yeah. So anyway, or just akuko. I don't know I just said uncalling. Uncalling is like my, my husband's language. Just akuko. You know when you're just business akuko that doesn't really have like a strong lesson. I don't share things like that. So yeah. They always tell those of us on YouTube that we should be careful when we share certain things, don't review certain things because you don't know where the enemy is watching, you don't know where the devil is watching, the devil won't have known about this if you do not say it out. And I believe that is true, right? But one thing that reading that scripture yesterday taught me was, even as Herod still found out, hmm, the Holy Spirit still gave um, Jesus, that is true, Joseph and Mary, an escape route, right? So the Holy Spirit still had an upper hand even though Herod found out. Am I making sense? Are you receiving Rema? Is it is it is it entering your soul? Yes, yeah, so the truth of the matter is that even if 
you accidentally or even knowingly reveal things about yourself that you shouldn't reveal, you shouldn't now, you shouldn't now be scared of the devil triumphing over you. No, you shouldn't be scared of that. You should actually just, you know, pray that God delivers you. I always say that God, if he does not save you, he will deliver you. But how did you say that thing? Like, if he does not prevent you from entering the wahala, he will save you from the wahala. Do you get the point? So, anyway, I still have the upper hand. It's the story of everything I've just, like, I've just said today. <laughs> it's the story of everything I just... Yes. Mommy's struggling because... I'm coming. I'll check it for you. I'm, I'll check it for you. I love it. Oh, did this thing? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm coming. So yeah, the summary of everything I just said now is that I will always have the upper hand, okay? I believe it. I'll confess it to myself. I always confess it to myself that you can't do anything bad to me when I didn't do anything bad to you. You know now, I know that people in this life that you don't do anything bad to them, but they just hate you. They just don't want you to progress. They don't just like you. They hate your guts. They might even be in your circle. They might even be your friends. They might even be your family members. They might even be your loved ones. Whatever it is. They might even be your husband. They might be that boyfriend that's on the same bed with you. They might be the haters in your life. No one how they exist. I understand that part. But I will always have the upper hand. Thank you very much. Okay? Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Look at this picking. What's happening? Did you pay my bride price? Yeah? No. Did you pay my bride price? You just come and be opening there anyhow. Do you know how many years you stopped <laughs> going there? It, it has stopped belonging to you for how many years? Hmm? You want to do what? Oh, my button. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, let me know in the comment section. If you learned anything from everything I just said. This vlog is actually quite short in terms of what I should. But I just felt like letting you guys hear this message. Because some of you are allowing the devil to do things in your life. And you don't know. You think it's because of other people. Now you. Now you the cousin. You are the hater in your own life. You are the, you are the stumbling block in your own blessing. Anyway. See you guys later. Say bye. So if I say bye. Bye. Yeah, let's go. Let's see your cute face. Say bye. 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 bye.